Dubai's airport and this place does not sleep. It's huge. All the sleeping pods are completely full and if you have priority pass, they do not let you reserve the time. So it's all first come first serve bases. So now I need to go find something to do for an hour and then come back. Well, there's like the food lounge, but I'm not hungry, not thirsty. And I'm sure there's a lot of people there too. So I'm just gonna go walk around, get tired, and hopefully there's a sleep lounge pod, something open when I get back. He said the next availability is, one is at 3 a.m., the other one's at 4 a.m. And I think the 4 a.m. one is gonna be completely full. So, um, hour to kill. 3.30 in the morning, but it's actually 6.30 in Thailand. And I finally got a room to sleep in for two hours only. So let's go check out the room. Completely went the wrong way. I love that this airport has carts everywhere for free. On the sea lounge, you'll see the makeup and it's hidden over here. The really cheating part of the sleep and fly area in Dubai Terminal 3C is that you have to check in upstairs near C14 and then when you come down this place gets so confusing you lose like 10 minutes so it's kind of unfair because you don't get your whole full two hours since looking for this place is hidden. <laughs> 